The Vikings are Jews. Let's go back to the old story of Moses. Moses and the Israelites were expelled from Egypt. They traveled to the promised land, to the land of Eden, situated in the Holy Land. There they became the people of Eden. Later the symbol of their people became the cross, the cross on which their former king Yeshua died. In the year 800 they had to leave the Holy Land because of massive floods. After a while the people of Eden land with their boats in Northern Europe. There they set foot on ground and call it Edenland after their lost homeland. When the locals ask who they are, they say they are Vikings. Possible meaning refugees. In the year 1000, suddenly a new language is popping up. Dits, the root language of the so-called German languages and of English. Dits, Dutch, Ditsland, Deutschland. So where is this Dits coming from? Well, what language were the Vikings speaking? Coming from the Holy Land? They were talking Judean, Yiddish, Dish, Ditz, Dutch. That's why they were calling themselves Vikings. To eat, to eat in Yiddish is Essen. Essen. So to say, they eat the meat. They essen das Fleisch. They essen das Fleisch. We eat the meat. Mir essen das Fleisch. Mir essen das Fleisch. The word for fruit in Yiddish is Frucht. Also similar to English. Frucht. So to say, they eat the fruit. They essen die Frucht. They essen die Frucht. He has the book is Er hat das Buch. Er hat das Buch. The woman has the book. Die Frau hat das Buch. The Scandinavian, German, Anglo-Saxon languages did not originate in Europe, but were imported by the Vikings, the refugees. So Deutschland actually means Ditzland, Yiddishland, land of the Yiddish, land of the Jews. So now you have suddenly Northern Europe being Christianized. Cities are being founded by saints. The Gnostics of the Jewish tribe were spreading the faith of their savior Jesus Christ. So the Vikings were not pagans, they were Christians 
importing Christianity. The priests were followed by the Viking soldiers that morphed into the Crusaders. The red white colors with the cross on their shield was the symbol of their mythical lion. The Lion of Judah, the Ari. So they became the Aryans. Soon medieval Europe was flooded with the lion symbol. Another name for the Vikings was the sons of Noah, the Ashkenazi. So in World War II, the Aryans the Ashkenazi of Yiddishland were killing off the Jews. <coughs> Soon the Templars were conquering Europe. Building castles and cathedrals for their Viking high priests, the Gotti. Gotti cathedrals. Later, they conquered the Americas. They started ruling the waves. And now, the Viking flag is still ruling land and sea. Are you still wondering why the US, England, Switzerland, Europe, are so close with the Israelites? That is because they are one and the same.